running era running era running era running era running era era or era how's it going everybody my name is Royce and welcome to my channel so lately you can see it actually everywhere in social media everyone is in their running era especially the Millennials out there shout out Millennials so I've also thought of myself I need to join the bandwagon so I've decided to take on this running journey and it's going to be fun hopefully it's going to be fun so what is the plan the plan is to take it one session one run one step at a time I'm not in a rush and I'm this time I'm gonna do it right so if you've ever heard about zone 2 running that is what I'm going to do uh, basically what it means is you run at a certain threshold of your maximum heart rate so it's around 60 to 70 percent I doing this I'm doing this because I want to document my progress and my journey and see if I really would be able to finish a marathon so if you want to join this ride with me please like and subscribe so how will I be able to measure my heart rate so I'll be using my watch so I have an old watch that I have it is the Amazfit GTS 2 mini um, I'm not, I'm sure it's not a hundred percent accurate but I'll still use it as a baseline of how I run uh, it has GPS and heart rate tracking capabilities that will do for now so we're gonna base my run on duration not distance so in this session today I'll be running for one hour and the goal heart rate is below 148 beats per minute so we're gonna keep at it until uh, one hour and hopefully we can have an average of 148 beats per minute all right let's go time check it's actually 7 p.m in the evening today is the 26th day of october so it's still kind of bright in about 40 minutes uh, there will be a sunset but it's kind of cloudy today as you can see so we won't be seeing that but yeah the sun sets late here in Adelaide so 
So we just started and my heart rate went straight to 155. So we need to have it down to 148 to 150. So with zone 2 running, you'll definitely be tested with your patience and discipline because you're going to feel really slow. You won't be matching any of your friends pace because it's not the goal with zone 2. It basically allows your heart to work at a consistent rate and it's going to be very beneficial in the long run so patience is the key i chose zone 2 method to come back to running because it's easier it doesn't strain your body your legs your lungs your heart it kind of gives you an easier path if you're going to come back to running so pretty much that's the reason why I don't really know how to vlog so bear with me I'm learning as I go but meanwhile just check on what Adelaide has to offer <laughs> It's only me running at the moment because it's already 7 p.m. and that's okay it actually feels better when you run when you run all by yourself you get all the peace and quiet in the world and especially when you're running with this kind of environment you have trees everywhere you smell or you breathe um, clean air and you don't see any pollution not a lot of black smoke coming out from vehicles it's really good and also having some sort of exercise in your day is definitely a plus in your overall health so five years ago i actually started running i was able to finish a half marathon um, at that time it was already a huge achievement for me because uh, at that time, I only had like three months of training all by myself and taking tips and advice from YouTube, YouTube University, but it wasn't effective because at the start of like kilometer two, I already had pain at the side of my knee and it wasn't good at all imagine you have it in kilometer two and you still have 20, 19 kilometers more to go so it wasn't a good experience so from that um running event on i actually haven't had attended any any running event since then so yeah so it took five years for me to have that motiva motivation again to run there are flies here everywhere and here I am now so the name of this park is actually Ellis Ellis Park so it's one of the many parks in Adelaide um, we are actually here in this is located in the central 
business district of the city so it's very accessible for anyone living in the city so we are at 12 minutes and my heart rate right now is at 151 that's a good that's a good range and this here is actually I think it's a pine tree I don't know what they call it here helicopters You have the train there, if you can see it. The city of Adelaide is actually near the airport also, so it's like a 10 minute ride by car and you'll be in the city. That's what's good about Adelaide. They actually call it the 20 minute city because everything is nearby. You can go to the hills, the beaches in just 20 minutes. Ooh, that's a long train. It's Let's check it out. Ah, it's going to end now. This is actually the kind of surface that I can like running. I don't like running in hard surfaces like the roads but eventually it will come to that but since i'm still starting out again yeah i need a softer surface because it helps you your knees your foot not to be strained and it can lessen the impact of every stride so that's a good thing to start off I think <clears throat> magpies they can actually rip your eyeballs out so be careful the season right now in Australia is actually spring so I think spring starts in September to November so that's why you're seeing flowers blooming I'll show you later if there are any oh there's one I'm not sure if you can hear it but yeah you can hear the birds chirping singing so the temperature right now is at 22 degrees so I'm feeling some sweat come coming out uh, but yeah it's manageable and it's getting warmer now because Summer is next and our December here is hot it's summer so it's it's kind of weird but yeah so my plan is to be running in zone 2 for a good three months that will definitely set my body up to longer 
runs and get my body used to you know moving and running for a certain amount of time especially those workouts that are over an hour so there you go these are the flowers that are blooming. the good thing here in australia is that they always have some kind of activity physical activity incorporated in their lives may it be running cycling wall climbing swimming all heaps of things and that's contagious Already at two kilometers. Oh, it just spiked up to 160. So I have to walk, slow down, take a big breath, let my heart relax. So if you haven't noticed it yet, especially for my Filipino friends, they drive at the left side here. They also run at the left side. So it takes some time to adjust and getting used to how they drive or walk or even run. It's always on the left side. This is the city. Uh, there's a few buildings. This is on the on West Terrace, West Side. And this building here at my back is actually Adelaide High School. This time I am measuring it, making it official that I'll be consistently running at zone 2. That's why I have this watch because it would be very helpful to track my progress, check data and check on areas that I need to improve on and work on. So. Yeah, very handy. <laughs> this is a railway. There's a stop there. I hope we can see a train pass by. Knees check. My knees are intact. It's not hurting. Oh right timing ah, it's a train Let's go. I love running in this kind of terrain it's up world Hello running community, how are you today? 
did you do some laps today did you have a good run I just want to ask you how you're doing I hope everything's all right and I hope you're enjoying your running era let's go it's getting darker now I hope there will be no snakes here <laughs> fortunately I am still alive nothing has bitten me yet We're not seeing any kangaroos here because we're in the city, but we'll never know. So there was a small hill there. I went up and my heart rate also went up. It's getting darker now. Almost done. I'll do it earlier next time so we'll have better views. One hour. Let's go. And we're done. It's already nighttime. Time check it's 8 02. Just exactly one hour after our first ever session of zone 2 running and yeah I feel good actually uh, my knees are feeling well it's not painful it didn't feel any stress I'm breathing fine all good and one down more to go so if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and on to the next see ya